Maryland GOP congressional candidate Kim Klasik, whose first digital ad went viral, released a sequel yesterday in which he continues to hold, well, Baltimore's Democratic leaders accountable for their failures, particularly to the African American community. Take a look. I walk the streets of Baltimore and see what could be. I want you to see what I see. I see Baltimore that picks up trash. There are piles of garbage all around Baltimore. It makes life unsafe for our families. I'll work with city leaders to get Baltimore's Solid Waste Bureau the resources it needs to take out the trash. And on Friday, she joined the ever important, hard hitting news show, The View, where she had a heated exchange with co host Joyless Joy Behar after criticizing her for wearing blackface. It ended quickly. Take a look. Is this Joy speaking? The same mind. Joy? The same yes. Joy that yes. paraded around in blackface not too long ago? Come on, Joy. I don't think you should be That's asking not these true. questions. I am excuse a me, American. Excuse me. The black community had my back. They know that the that black was community not has my back. That was an homage. Here with more Maryland GOP congressional candidate Kim Klasik herself, civil rights attorney. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Lee, Leo 2.0, he won the poll fair and square. I was wrong Friday. I humbly apologize. I don't like losing. I'm, I'm not sick of winning. Uh, but you win, Leo. Uh, I, I'm hanitized. Where did you get that hat? I don't even have I'm that hanitized. hat. I'm hanitized. I never saw a hat like that before. Uh, all right, Kim, let me go to Baltimore. What, the third highest spending per capita per student in the world? 13, is it true 13 public schools where not a single child is proficient in math in Baltimore? That is absolutely true, Sean. And you can add to that, we actually have uh, a more data that came out that said 9 out of 10 black male students uh, do not read at grade level in Baltimore City. So we have a problem with our education. That's why I'm a proponent for school choice. We have a problem with career opportunities. We lack them. We don't have anything there. Um, that's why I'm really pushing for President Trump's opportunity zones in Baltimore City. He's already invested $75 billion into other cities that Democrats have left uh, neglected. So we need that in Baltimore. Um, and then, of course, we talk about the importance of family structure. You know, there's just these simple things that we can do to drive down the crime and violence and get people uh, economic opportunities. And that's what we need to do. You know, Leo, I, I see this, and yet Democrats get elected. You know, liberal Democrats have been running states, blue states, and cities into the ground. They fail on law, order, safety, security, education. Well, those are the two most important things that they ought to be doing right. You're 100 percent right. School choice is a civil rights issue of the day. It breaks the poverty cycle. And what Kim is doing, if Kim wins this election, it will break the Democratic stranglehold on black voters. And I got to go walk those streets in Baltimore because this election is key. Kim needs to win this election. It will send a message, a message to the Democratic powers structure that the blacks have broken away. And Kim is really the key to breaking that stranglehold on blacks by the Democratic Party. And that's why they're nervous about Kim. And one last point, Joe, uh, Joy Behar, the black community have your back. That's what I'm talking about, Sean. They think of us as monolithic. I don't have Joy Behar's back. Kim doesn't. And for her to say that she has the black community's back, that is insulting. That's a Joe Biden statement and it's Let very very you, insulting kim you're running these hard-hitting ads and you're saying this is a, a institutional failure there's no safety there's no security there's nothing but poverty decades of of liberal democratic rule um mm -hmm. how is your message resonating yeah, so, so far, so good. You know, it's like, you know, a little bit of the, the Trump syndrome. We have some people that don't want to admit it out loud, and we understand that because of the backlash. Uh, but we have people out there seven days a week uh, knocking on doors, canvassing, and then five days a week, we're actually registering voters. Uh, believe it or not, in these areas, especially in these dangerous neighborhoods in West Baltimore, there are a lot of people that just aren't registered to vote. And so we're just telling them, like, you've got to be involved in this process. You know, your future, your children's future, they all depend on it. Um, so, so so far, so good. Uh, just like we saw, there's a nine-point swing for President Trump. Uh, I had a nine-point swing in my special election, and I think we're going to do even better this time around. Will the polls that show African Americans and Hispanic Americans moving towards Donald Trump, will they translate into votes in now 43 days, Leo 2.0? I'll tell you right now, yes, because look, Michael Moore made a comment that 
Joe Biden has taken blacks in Michigan for granted. There's been a whole old mindset, Sean, and it's being broken with people like Kim, like myself. The Democrats are very nervous because blacks are moving towards the Republican Party like the Hispanics. And that's all it takes is to go in those battleground states with more blacks voting for Trump. I need to be in Michigan and I need to be in Baltimore so Kim wins that seat.